two famous condensing boilers for their model uh, Advantage 1000. Um, these are completely stainless steel pressure vessels uh, to allow the units to operate in condensing mode. These units operate on natural gas and through a very simple uh, process and controls use a one to one uh, ratio of gas and air valve which allows these units to have a turn down of 22 to 1 which allows them to get that 98% efficiency. Uh, at 100 percent there's actually two separate gas drains in this unit. Uh, one for the high level from about 40% firing rate to 100% and then from 40% down to roughly 4.5% that firing rate, it operates on a separate gas The unit is outfitted with uh, a very common uh, control that's used widely in the industry today called solar control, and which is mounted inside this beautiful cabinet, along with a touchscreen uh, HMI interface here, which we use to uh, do all the configurations set point, set time, all of the operations of the unit. There's two units here, to, uh, and they will run on a lead lag and alternating system so that they'll always have a unit uh, if for some reason there would be uh, a shutdown need for each Very low maintenance, uh, very easy to operate. operation um, where you're going to use it for domestic heat um, just to handle this dead cold water influx uh, and what the temperatures are high. There's several safety features with the Cayman's unit. You're protected with your uh, air inlet to make sure that there's combustion air, there's black fluid protection, there's water temperature pressure, uh, temperature um, protection, water pressure, and water flow pressure, or water flow protection as well. Uh, we'll look at all those controls here in a minute. But uh, here I just wanted to show you the screen. This is the typical screen that the operator will be looking at. It has on it what the inlet temperature is, the outlet temperature, it monitors both the stack temperature, the signal, Milliamp signal for the range of operation, and along with the flame signal to tell us our flame strength and uh, an indicator if the unit is approaching a point where it may need some maintenance. Um, this particular unit is going to be configured for domestic hot water. We're going to be using it for their, their sinks and their eye wash stations. A 140 degree uh, operating temperature with a 10 degree uh, hysterial differential, both for on and off. Uh, this system will be flowing along with a buffer tank, constantly maintaining that 140 degree water to have available for the stations and the sinks that are uh, There's several screens. Uh, this configuration allows you to set up your particulars, your options that you want, <clears throat> from naming the unit to if you want cross protection. Uh, several features along the way. This is also where you would uh, configure the lead lag, how many days you want the lead to run, and then to switch over to the lag boiler and back and forth. Along with that, <clears throat> There is a screen here that allows you to bypass the modulation to put the unit into a manual mode where you can control that firing rate. Very helpful when fine-tuning combustion so that we can hold at a particular <coughs> percentage and fine-tune our air and our uh, CO2. But the unit has Inside the panel we have our burn control. This is uh, outfitted with a solar control by Honeywell. 
very popular, very global control used in most heating appliances today of this particular size. This monitors the flame, temperatures, all the safety controls are operated through here. Um, looks like a busy panel, there's a lot of wires in here. Uh, along with it we have some circuit circuitry down here, step down transformer because there's 24 volt system in here, and our variable speed drive which inverts 115 volts to 233 phase for our burner motor. And because of that VSD, that's what allows us to have that fine tuning, that one to one turndown of the gas air ratio and mixing the proper amount of air at the right uh, RPM for the amount of gas that we're going through the valve. Uh, very compact, very um, easy to operate, um, and uh, very reliable components in here. High efficiency units uh, get their efficiency because they're able to condense and operate in a condensing mode, bringing heating cold water. This unit, constructed of stainless steel, is a high efficiency unit. And so during the combustion process with condensation happening, you need to collect that condensation. What we're looking at back here are two different types of collection units. You see this tube unit, uh, it's a condensate neutralizer because the condensate is acidic. And then along with the Camus unit, we send uh, a P bucket trap here with a float system in it. And this collects the condensation, neutralizes it, and then allows it to go to drain.